All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Tuesday night live stream of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, where, of course, today we're continuing with our fire starter, Geralt, where we are going to be heading to do some sort of test of valor or virtue or something along those lines. But before we get to that, there is a hidden treasure I want to go take a look at, that one nearby where we left off. So uh, I'm just too intrigued about the ruins of the place, and hopefully there's something very nice there. I don't know. Either way, though, I did spend a little bit of time off cam just to go back to the shop, sell things that we gathered last episode. We, boy, man, after all that time I spent struggling for money while trying to get all my Grandmaster armor built, we're now rolling in it again. <laughs> We've got like 15 or 16,000 gold at this point. Just like, oh, cool. Why couldn't you have let me have all that money like two weeks ago when I needed it all? But here we are back in the world, not too far from where we left off in the last episode. We were just over here. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go check out this first as I am intrigued and then head over to here. So let's get uh, Roach a little bit further up. Say perhaps by these ruins right here. Nope, oh, God, go over the thing, go over the thing, go over the, go over the thing! Take it easy. <sighs> he wouldn't jump. <laughs> and Jay, that's why I pays to do side quests. Fair, fair. Granted, it was less from the quest and more from us finding that other place full of bandits that we can kill easily and get all their swords to sell. You know? That. That's where most of the money came from, but look at it. It's great. Oh, good times. Granted, I guess it was the side quest that did lead me to that, inevitably. Let's see what we've got here in these ruins. I already see some potential loot right there. Hello? Ooh, repair kit. All right, all right. So it's in other side of this wall. Or something. Oh, hi, random... Oh, it's one of you again. It's another freaking hooded woman. All right, get the yurden ready. Why do we keep running into these? A hooded woman over a dead man who then the hooded woman turns into a wraith or whatever. Hi, ma'am. Yeah, there we go. There's my yurden. You oh, God, you're not what I expected. You're an alp? You seem like maybe a vampire or something, so let's switch over. Oh, fire! Where the hell is she jumping to? Fire's doing pretty good. Fire's doing pretty good. I don't like her jumping around, though. That's very annoying. Well, that was way too far away. God, she's quick. I never quite know where she's jumping off to. Oh, got her. She's almost dead from the Igni, though, but Jesus, she is knocking me about a bit. But she's dead. Okay, well, let's wait for her to finally die so I can loot it. There we go. There we go. I actually want to check out the entry on that real quick. What the hell's an Alp? I have a feeling it's some other form of vampire. Uh, vampire. Yup. Called it. <laughs> Looked like a Bruxa, but that was no Bruxa. <laughs> Succinct and to the point. I like it. I like it. Alps are vampires that resemble a Bruxa in appearance. They are called phantoms by some, a name which fits well enough. For like phantoms, they haunt and torment men. They usually take on the form of a woman, though they can also appear as animals. Ooh. They are most often found prowling near villages. They attack at night and are most active when the moon is full. Alps saliva can make one fall asleep. Oh my. And when applied to a sleeping man, can invoke horrible nightmares. Horrifying. Some suggest they are the cause of legends about men who go to sleep healthy and are found in the morning white as snow, not a drop of blood in their veins. Huh. Yurden actually would have been effective against them. You know what, though? The burning worked just as fine. <laughs> oh, black blood. Yeah, vampire oil. Moon dust bomb. I never trust when it says that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the Igni worked pretty well. Fire cleanses most things. <laughs> oh, what diary? We're gonna go find the darn thing. Oh, Jesus. Couldn't have just been on his corpse. Oh, soil with blood and spinal fluid. Lovely. The... Okay. It pretended to be just another day as I... 
as a clerk at the Ducal Treasury. Start the morning with a baguette and camembert, then shuffle some parchments and head for home before dusk. Today, however, the normal order of things was disturbed. Dramatically. I came across a highly interesting note in the archives, and along with it, a key. The key is the more interesting find, because according to what I could decipher from the dust-covered scribblings on the note, it opens a chest full of gold coins. But I'm getting ahead of myself. While doing some routine straightening of the files, I found a report outlining procedures for the reform of Bastoy Prison. Oh boy. Orders straight from Duke Henry Grass. We all are aware how badly this experiment ended, for the ruins of that prison to this day frightened any potential tourists with their battered skeletons and legends about howling spirits of the murdered guards. Yet I did not know that hiding among the abandoned ruins there was a chest, and that its key was laying right under my nose. The chest supposedly contains crowns meant for the purchase of books and rations for the inmates of Bestoy. One of the clerks employed here at the time committed a sin of omission and sent the chest to the warden without the key. Oh, wonderful. Yet perhaps that was for the best. The warden was impaled and the cards all skinned alive. Oh, God. Meaning those degenerates would have also got their hands on the chest had he received the key. As it is, might the chest still be there? Unopened. Folks say a curse has fallen on the place, a dark power brought down by the bestiality of the murders it beheld, but folk also say the Alfieri will become Emperor of Nilfgaard and herald the end of the world. So there's not much point giving any such jabbering much credence. Okay. Oh. Well, gotta find it here. Oh, great. Find the treasure. Uh, now we gotta figure, find it inside this circle. Where in the were? Oh, hello. Notes of a death row convict. I don't care. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe it has no something about where the thing might be. You know, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it if we find nothing else. Oh my god, go through the thing. Go through the thing. There we go. Uh, what else we got? Plus, it wasn't red. It was an orange highlight. But, yeah, it was probably what we needed to read. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, hello, never mind, we got a red thing here. That's the more important thing. And an actual chest. Ooh, black armor die formula. Librarian's memoirs, don't care. <laughs> oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> Not a whole lot of crowns, but, you know, not bad. Work order. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, probably not. Probably why the place was uh, overrun by the uh, inmates if they dismiss half the prison guard staff. <laughs> All right, well, good times for that. Good times for that. All right, well, we've found our thing. Let's get the heck out of Dodge and head... No, not to the mill. Not to the mill. Why did I go here and not quests? There we go. That can only be one. Magnificent horse. Roach. Right here. You're in the wall. Alright, let's ride. Get on over to this lake. Anything? I mean, I just see a camp. No, God, Roach won't... Why aren't you moving, Roach? You're not moving. There we go. I was wondering if there might be Snow bandits now. here, but there's nothing. Okay, that was a waste of time, and Roach with his usual not listening to me. All right, well, down we go. Ooh. Where in the heck do I go for this island? Hmm. Well, this was probably the worst way I could have gone. Huh. How does one get on to the island? Ooh, maybe there. Maybe. Looks like I might be able to climb up this. No, of course not. Of course not. Oh, there we go. We got it. Yes. <laughs> you never know with this game. You never know. All right. Well, we have a lovely little pond. Oh, a hermit to talk to. Alright, that's probably who we've got to go converse with. But let's go over here to the stones. 
Maybe to where we probably should have entered the uh, island down here. Where, you know, it's not cliffs. <laughs> yeah, that was on me. That was on me. Ooh, cucumbers and strawberries. Nice. All right, yeah, nothing really of importance over here. Okay, back to the hermit. It's obviously who we need to go talk to. Walking on water. What? Just Holy like crap, we are. Like who? Like a pond skater. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> no matter. I suppose you thought nothing else in life could surprise you, eh? Wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it is a little interesting, so hello, hermit. So, explain. Hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore. Oh. And I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. Okay. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. Which is pretty extraordinary. Most wondrous lies in its depths. Yeah, of course. I watch over it. Mm. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Looks pretty sweet. Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet I do know. For I know who you are. Do you now? You have proven yourself capable of great sympathy. At times. You are a man of honor, as many can attest. All right, that's true. Of humble means yourself. You show generosity to others. Yeah, I own a no vineyard, not very humble. <laughs> is the stuff of legends. Well, I Reason can't argue with. Guides your actions, as it does those of all who are wise. You have proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. I disagree with you on some of those points. I can dive in and take it. The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Okay, okay. First off, clearly we are. But, but, Jesus, all, all the... <laughs> Arthurian legend stuff in this DLC. So instead of a lady of the lake here, we've got the hermit of the lake. <laughs> and it's a very tiny lake. More of a pond, really. I mean, I know we're in an island sitting in a much larger lake, but the magical part's the pond. So, just saying. <laughs> well, yeah, sure, let's do this. Can I burn the things that come at me, or do I have to fight them with my sword? Anytime. Then draw your blade. Cool. We fighting? Oh, me and you, huh? Neat. Oh, God! No, I wasn't ready! Okay. Also, too far away there. Oh, he's a magic user. You fool, I have fire, too. Oh, yeah, I need teleport. He teleported before I could use it. Oh, that's new. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I like this guy. We could be friends, Hermit. I gotta get close to him for Igni. There we go. Oh, God. Yeah, he's just bunting me about. And a bomb. <laughs> Do bombs count as honorable combat for you? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, God, the, the whirlwind. Oh, Jesus, that's bad. That hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Let's use a swallow potion. Didn't let me take it. It's not letting me take my swallow potion. Oh, there it goes, finally, Jesus. Okay, okay, I gotta dodge this dude for a bit. He's actually pretty tough for a magic user. I like him. There we go. Light him a bit and run away. This is the last test. Oh god, the world went every time I get close. Freaking thing. Alright. Fire. Let's go stab him a little. Oh god, and he just zaps me backwards. It's just rude so what is he doing? What's he doing? Nope, not the thing I feared. Not the whirlwind. That's good. Take that, Hermit. I win. I win. <laughs> I like you, old man. I like you. 
You have proven worthy of wielding the blade. Beyond all doubt. Sweet. Oh, can we Oh no, he's I was about to say, can neither of us walk on this anymore? Is the power gone? No, he's just he's just walking down. Kinda creepy, honestly. Okay, let's see what shot they go for as he comes back up with the sword. I have a feeling I know where it's, what type of shot it's going to be. And... Behold, called it! Arundite. Oh, now it's a woman! So it is the Lady of the, a lady of the Lake now. We've met before. Certainly. The Hermit admitted he knew you, remember? Oh. The Lady of the Lake. Mm -hmm. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable. Devoted to doing good. And for these reasons, you receive the blade. Now bear it. Thank you! And I trust this time, you shall not lose it. Wait, have we had it before? I don't really remember her. I mean, obviously, she's... We've met her before in the games. Neat. Just wonderful. Oh! Now we can't... Okay, I, I like that. I like the sudden plunge into the water after that. <laughs> Appropriate appropriate now that being said of our cool new blade that we just encountered here um even if it's better i'm not going to use it because we get the bonuses we get the set bonuses for my things oh plus it's just a relic blow holy 76 more damage wow each blow generates charges which in increase the sword damage by 10 but damn uh, treasures are lost over time, and when received receiving damage, fully charged sword always deals critical hit damage. Wow. Killing a foe with a fully loaded sword will expend its charge to permanently increase the weapon's damage. Damage increased by 0 to a maximum of 10. Hmm. Increase along with your character level. Huh. And Jay, exactly. We can go and hang this thing up in Corvo Bianco, because it is glorious. But it's going to take away from me that six-piece Witcher set bonus here, which I love because of that sign intensity and the stamina regeneration. So, no. <laughs> that is an awesome sword, though. That is a very awesome sword. Wow. Oh, hey, and we're just the right level for it. Well, to Corvo Bianco to drop it off. And now also me wondering... What we do next? I really expected this thing to take longer. I figured we'd have to prove ourselves in said trials. But, uh, no. We just had to talk to the hermit. Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll finally get to start doing the main quest. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. How long is that supposed to take, frankly? So I doubt- I mean, we definitely wouldn't be able to finish it all today, even if we didn't start it now. But, I'm just curious at stopping points for future, perhaps. But definitely to Corvo Bianco first. Where the heck are we? Alright, so follow that road. And fast travel over there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. And Jay, I told you this one was kind of bland compared to the Equine Phantoms. I mean, fair. Difference, though, between bland and super short. I mean, <laughs> I expected it to be longer. Uh, it could have been bland but long, but no, it was bland and short. The fight was fun, though. That hermit was actually pretty pretty awesome. As far as magic users go in fights that we've had, he was actually pretty tough. Love that whirlwind thing. That did almost get me. It's pretty awesome. Uh, now we got to find a good place to put this thing. A prominent place, considering it is such a special sword. Hmm. I actually think I might be out of things now. Hmm. Well, I mean, some of those are too magically special. I still have an armor rack there and there that I haven't used. Hmm. I wish there was a sword thing above my bed. That would be perfect, and that is where I would like to put it. But, we do not have such a thing. Now, oh, it's this one. The blood edge, ed, that's the one we got from... Crack and Crate. 
or, oh god, or was it the Winter Blade? I don't know. Hmm. What are these swords over here that I've got? Nice dog, and come on, move around, move up. Oh, saw for a second. That, I don't remember what these, oh, that was like the vampire one, wasn't it? Hmm. Hmm. You know, I think it needs to be individually displayed on its own. So one of these. That is a cool sword and a fancy sword, so that stays on the rack. What's this one? Dancer. I don't remember you and any significance you may have. Uh, so. Boom. Nice. Still wish it was in a more prominent locale than the corner of the house. But. There we go. And I'll go put this blade in here. It's a relic sword that means we keep it and never sell it. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, pop that there. Join the rest of them, Dancer. Perfect. Alright, and yeah, I guess we go start the main quest for this stuff. Go meet those people at the mill. We could probably roll around the world and find some other things, but... Eh, I'm at a point where I think we're... We're good to go for that. Though, before we do, let's actually sleep to get the bonuses. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. I mean, it's 3 p.m., so it's cool. We'll sleep all the way to morning, though. And Luna and Joseph, hello. Good evening. Glad you guys could both make it here today. And yet, yeah, Luna, I would always appreciate a coin being tossed to the Witcher. <laughs> uh, and let's also go and use these. Yes, get ourselves fully sorted. And, what the, Roach? Oh, what the hell? You're always supposed to be in here. It's your stable. <sighs> All right, fine. You're hanging out with the geese, apparently. Hmm. And Luna, <laughs> thanks for the bits. You're a potato, eh? Nice. Who doesn't like potatoes? Potatoes are great. <laughs> Thank you for the pits. Oh, oh boy. Nope, oh, over here. Let us get to the mill. Oh, after midnight. Um, yeah, I'm hoping if I get up. Oh. You're nearing a turning point in the story. After this, you will no longer be able to finish certain side quests. Save your game before continuing. Alright. Not that it matters. We're going anyways, so... <laughs> All right, we are here. Hi, whoa, God, hi, guys. Expect armed resistance. The strength of the fortifications remains unknown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your foes have committed treason. You fight them for the good of the duchy. Indeed, we do. Will give you the details. Excellent. Oh, we got a lot of we got a lot of people here. A lot of well-armed people here. Hello. Geralt, good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? I am. See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Indeed. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We okay. need to strike here, through the main gate. Then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Duntine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Eh, I got bombs also, and fire. Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. Oh, crap. About them we know very little. Do they burn? Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk. Yeah, when but don't I begin at great risk? It well. Let us go. Indeed. I mean, I could always support them with bombs and stuff, though. I mean, yeah, I'm... I can... I have taken on armies of many people in the past. <laughs> Wonderful. We ride to battle. 
Something's gonna go real wrong, isn't it? Something's gonna go real wrong. But, oh well. We'll fight our way out either way. With sword and steel and fire. <laughs> Lots of fire. Okay. So we're just gonna it automatically put me, like, to the right position. Oh yeah, some time later. Excellent. Yeah, that's not good that the crow is there. That's foreshadowing. <laughs> so it begins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it does. We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. Indeed. Have a bomb! Kill him. And you! Have another bomb! There we go. It wasn't the right bomb. I wanted fire, but oh well. I'll just have to do fire this way. Whoop. And... There we go. Alright. Yes, I will kill you. That's the point. And... Alright, I ain't gonna go for that friggin' archer over here. And... There we go. They're all dead. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it looks like the other guy behind me with the hammer also died of his, his fiery wounds. Nice. Roderick sent them to get the horses. He's looking to flee. Okay, I probably shouldn't take too I much time no looting. Along the road. They must not be guarding. Ignore them. Oh! Screw them, they're on fire now. Hurry with those crates. But be careful. If you drop Someone's any, here. have bombs. Come on. And more bombs. There we go. There we go. I'm on fire a little too, but you know that happens. That happens. There we go. Everyone gets fire. Ooh, that guy's got a crossbow. All right. Oop. And oh, hey, that's Roderick. <laughs> he dies. Oh god, that guy just exploded from the fire over there. Hi, right, Roderick. Burn a little bit more, please. There we go. There we go. And you are not dead yet. Now you are. Perfect. Gotta love fire. Mercy, I, I did no wrong. Nah, kept the wrong damn company. Centrian's men, where are they? Uh, I knew shouldn't have let them under my roof. Yeah, a little too little too late there, my friend. Where are they? Ooh, hostages. Where's the hostage? The woman. Uh, what? What do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Mm -hmm. Must must be the handiwork of my guests. Your guests. Where are they? Where are they now? In... in the keep. Ready in their escape. There's someone with them? Woman named Sienna? Of... of course. She... she convinced me to let them in. Yeah, of course. A whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack... packing. We were to leave together and... old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep, too? It, yes. Her chamber is in the tower, the top floor. Yeah, of course it is. What? What will become of me? Oh, I mean, you're probably going to die from your wounds. <laughs> uh, yeah, not my problem, buddy. Leaving you to the Ducal Guard, if you don't bleed to death in the meantime. Chewie, a pox upon you. Hey, man, brought it on yourself, buddy. Brought it on yourself. All right, this way we go. Oh, I'm level 50 now. Neat. Oh, hi, folks. Hi, Kyle. I'm just going to ignore you. Let me ignore you. Let me ignore you. Just need to get past this fool. There we go. There we go. And then... Chuck a bomb. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's a tougher one. Probably should take care of these people. Oh, God. 
Whoop. And... Alright. Oh god, this guy's a... This guy's a tough one. And... There we go. Well, he's dead now. God, I love all my fire. <laughs> oh, hi! God, he just exploded. He just exploded. Ooh, a lot of guys there. A lot of guys there. Giving you one last chance. Yield. And Harlot got us into this. Kill him! Attack! Well. Uh oh. And this would be from. Well, he's dead too now. Let me guess. Yep. Figured. I told you guys to leave it to me. How dare you. We were handling this. They shall pay for everything. Oh, boy. Well, this isn't going to go well. Oh, hi, guys. I'll have a bomb. Oh, I may have burnt our vampire friends a little. <laughs> All right. You know what? I could probably just let them take care of this. I mean, they're... They're vampires. Oh, my God. There are a lot of them. Well... Oh, hi. Okay, we got them there. We got that in there. There we go. And... Yeah, that's good times. That's good times. <laughs> All right, and... Yeah, I mean, if you were a bunch of guards and you suddenly saw everyone on fire and two vampires rolling through, you just... I mean, that's just a vicious death for these guys. <laughs> I mean, Jay, I could have just let them handle it, but what's the fun in that? I brought the fire. All right, how do I get in? No, oh, we've have got to defeat all the guards first. Who's left alive? Looks pretty like everyone's pretty much dead here to me. Who didn't die? Seriously, who didn't die? I don't see anyone alive. Uh, okay, well, let's just try going to the door again. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Uh... Hey guys, uh, problem? Problem. There doesn't seem to be any more guards for me to defeat. Get in through, like, the side door? No, that's not... Uh-oh! So either there's someone left alive somewhere, which doesn't make any sense considering the area we're in right now, or something is majorly borked. It's looking like majorly borked. Yeah, yeah, Luna, I think we're gonna have to reload. <laughs> these guys are all clearly dead. Ah, oh, magnificent though, magnificent. I mean, let's, let's check over here. No, dead folk here too. Oh, hey. Fade to black in not the area. see you two here. We thought you could use our help, so Witcher. This what happened? Explain. Where is Renna? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Mm -hmm. Let us go then. Yeah, I told you to stay. Guys, stay put. I could have handled all that with the fire. Good job, though. Yeah, it definitely has been a uh, end of your life pants shitting moment, though. Seeing two vampires and a guy throwing fire everywhere. That's <laughs> just. That's just a big no. Well, out the window she goes. Renna. Who was a part of it all? Are you hurt? If any of them. 
You know me. I'd never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... Yeah. I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you, I... She threatened to kill... I failed you. Herself, basically. <laughs> she was... The whole thing. So, we gonna... We gonna... Well, are we gonna tell him? Now Regis, we're we gonna, gonna tell him the truth. Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sienna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. Indeed. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. Almost definitely. What's your point? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You lied to Detloff. Stop playing dumb. I know everything. Your plan, that this was part of it. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Detloff. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the kidnapping was a farce. Because even though I I agree with this, I don't know it 100% for sure. Maybe she's a... Uh, what, what are the... um? Oh my god, what are, what are the people in this game that can change their forms? Crap, I don't remember now. But kidnapping was a farce. Never was any abduction. She faked it to be able to control you, manipulate you. You lie. He seeks to turn us against each other. Let, let him speak. Blackmailers, pure fiction. She planned everything. You killed all those men at her behest. That is impossible. Sorry, Dedloff. She used you. Part of her plan. You gonna come clean now, lady? And will Tetlov kill her? Would be bad because we can't let her die, unfortunately. <laughs> If you do not, I will raise Beauclair to the ground. Whoa now, buddy. This, I promise you. You've three days. I shall be waiting. Quite the exit. He just fly off? He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Fair. All Think right. He'll do it. Make good on his threat. Probably. I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Oh, yeah, I mean, vampire. Uh, also, GA for that magic sword I got earlier, given in The Witcher, The Path of Destiny, then lost in the prologue of Witcher 2. Uh, okay, okay. Still don't remember it, but okay. <laughs> Which I should, I mean. Mm, all right. But. Yeah. Conscience get to you now? Conscience gets to you now? Better. Uh, better late than never, right? Well, it truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Oh, hi. The men saw vampires here. They could still be about. Oh, they're good. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Already got her. We're good coming out the door now. That... Hello. Sienna, it's true. It's you, sister dear. What have you gotten yourself into? Blackmail, so murder plots. I'm surprised. 
Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise, promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Siana to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. <clears throat> yeah, she's not going to make it there. She's going to do something and slip you, away. Witcher, you have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. Oh, he's probably dead by now. Uh... Hmm. I'll go with... Yeah, I'm gonna go with two. He's no traitor, <laughs> just naive. Let himself be made a fool of. Paid dearly for it. Made probably dead. Whom by? Your sister. She's the one convinced him to let the bandits into his home. We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire. Ordered him to kill those men. What? Yep. What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover. Staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. No. Nope. must be. This cannot be true. Sorry it is. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? You had a drink with him the other Don't night. Laugh. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazar. Yep. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? You do know Regis is, right? Oh, also probably that one Please lord lady that you we're also drinking with. Anna. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Lady he Elder Vampire. We have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. Well, that went, that's, uh, we're going to break, we're going to break uh, her sister out, aren't we? And take her to Deadloff. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lose my vineyard, aren't I? Oh, well, easy come, easy go, I guess. <laughs> oh, God, where are we now? Oh, we're at the palace. A few days later. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Her grace's nerves have been calmed. Vampires Probably not. Rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not the events. Yes, well, even I must admit Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Oh, agreed. Well, we'll see how this is going to go. Also, I'm actually surprised, considering it's Are several days say? later, that we didn't get, Why like, a... A spot to hmm, let's see. Wait. You're returning from your hunt empty handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. Yeah, yeah, not looking great. Not looking great. Yeah, I'm gonna go with number two. What can I say? It happens at times. Especially likely to when the monster I'm chasing can turn into fog. Yeah, that does definitely make things more difficult. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> it depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit. Whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. <laughs> rumors? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Mm -hmm. Your grace. The population demands she be punished. Siona's committed terrible crimes. The people Spilled found out about so it? How? They... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. They let that info get out? I repeat for the last time. Siona is responsible for the death of many. True. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison. Pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. 
they will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. <laughs> by the way, that's... to judge by your <laughs> means has not yet come to pass. We did what we could, but my patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? Hmm. Either way, she's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Let's at least try and soften the blow with working on it, I think. Yeah, working on it. We're working to find that out, Your Grace. Do you take me for a fool? I wouldn't dare. I care not one whit what you have worked on, are working on, or shall work on. I'm interested in results, which thus far have been nil. Ah. At times, I hunt foxes. Oh, she's going to release the hounds. Do you know how it works? The ducal huntsman releases the hounds. They catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the bachu to it. All within an hour. You, witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. I wouldn't know if Yet, I called them excellent. You have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Did you know I could burn all of you to cinders, like, right now? <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna go three. Allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. Try me, boy. I'll take you down. <laughs> Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... He is now attacking the city because she didn't go to meet him. Your Grace, vampires! We told you this what? would happen, lady! Speak now! Vampires, oh, they protect the city. Captain de la Tour defends the square near the boat landing, but... So many lives lost. You should have listened. Damn it. Well, that was an interesting fade. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's, uh, I just, oh, I didn't realize he'd bring that many. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you. Hi, Detloff, I assume. Oh, no, I'm just a Bruxa. Get her out of here. Well, this has become problematic. This is all on you, Duchess. Okay, yep, Igni. Oh, God. Whoa. Okay, okay. Oh. Now she's on fire a little bit. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Probably shouldn't use my bombs in here with these guys all around. Would probably be bad. Whoop. And more fire. Magnificent. Where'd she go? She's over there. She's over there. She's over there. Alright, over there now. Beautiful. They always take so long to die. <laughs> Siana failed to appear as summoned. Mm -hmm. And there. Detlef was not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detlaf out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Mm-hmm. Do forgive me, but I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Okay. Regis, 
Another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. <sighs> See, that would be a bad plan anyways, because, I mean, he's now responsible for the deaths of many, many more people than just a handful of knights. So, I'm going to hit two, though. Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Obviously. <sighs> what are you suggesting, though? Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance on a Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna hit number one. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. I do trust you in your vows. I do like you, Regis. Any idea where she's held? Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog. Keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. I trust I've dispelled your doubts, then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. I mean, we should probably be done talking soon. Whole duchy is being burnt to the ground by vampires? <laughs> How would I go about luring Detloff out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen. Ancient and powerful vampires. Oh. Among the oldest and strongest. Cool. Mm -hmm. And? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. Oh, cool. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals... Oriana, for instance. You know, she too is a... Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I figured. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. <sighs> of course. Of course. Great. All right, what's next? Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf. Who will you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Good to know. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Yeah, Jay, I too am err on the side of trusting Regis. I like the man. But still, at this point, Detloff is now the cause of many, many dozens, perhaps hundreds of deaths at this point. So. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to hit three. Because, I mean, we're basically at the end of the stream anyways here, just a, little, a few minutes short. I'm going to have to have a think about this before the next stream, because, yeah. I mean, obviously this is probably going to be the better ending, but... Detloff is the cause of many hundreds of deaths at this point. He needs to be put down. 
But yeah, I'm gonna hit number three right now. I need to think about it. Let's see what happens. No idea. Need to think. Not an easy choice. Understood. Permit me to leave you to wrestle with this dilemma. I'm needed in the city. I cannot stop what is happening, but I can try to limit the number of victims. Good on you, Regis. Once you've decided and learned something, perhaps, whisper a word to the Ravens. I shall find you. Got it. Thank you. I always liked you, Regis. You're good. All right, and I'm assuming here's where we're back in the world. There we go. There we go. Character for the Unseen Elder. Neat. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode today. It is a dark, dark time in the Duchy of Tucson. I may very well lose my vineyard, which makes it even darker. But next episode will decide the fate of this. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this one this evening, and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, as always. Well, have a good one.